Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, BEF fully confined uh, in a blue square uh, ABCD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the side lengths uh, of this uh, red triangle uh, are uh, 45, 24 and uh, 51 respectively. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle uh, BEF. We are not sure whether this is a right uh, triangle. Therefore, uh, let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square to see whether this given uh, triangle is uh, indeed a right triangle i'm going to label this side length as lowercase a this side length uh, lowercase b and this side length uh, lowercase c let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got uh, 24 square plus uh, 45 square and now the question mark is whether this is equal to c square which is 51 square and now if we add the left hand side that is uh, 2601 this indeed uh, equals uh, to 2601 so therefore we can see that this is a true statement so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle bef is indeed a right uh, triangle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our uh, 90 degrees angle and here's our next step since we are dealing with this uh, blue square i'm going to label uh, this uh, side of this blue square as uh, x then all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue square are going to be x uh, across the board and furthermore i'm going to label this uh, segment uh, ae as uh, y then this uh, tiny segment uh, ED has got to be X minus Y. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case uh, the side length of this uh, blue square is X. So therefore uh, the blue square area is going to be equal to X square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, X square. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words the sum of these two angles uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. If I label this angle uh, alpha, we know this angle is a 90 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now we know this angle is alpha. This is a 90 degrees angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And finally, in this uh, triangle uh, EDF, uh, if this angle is beta, this angle is a 90 degrees this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles uh, the right triangle uh, eab and the other right triangle uh, edf are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem this is our uh, right triangle uh, eab and this is our right triangle uh, edf so therefore we conclude that we have got to have a proportion in other words, uh, the ratio of the side lengths uh, A, B and B, E must be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, D, E and E, F. And now we know our uh, A, B side length uh, is uh, X. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, X over here. And our uh, side length uh, B, E is 45. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 45. And now our uh, side length uh, D, E is uh, x uh, minus y so i'm going to replace that one with x minus y over here and finally our uh, side uh, ef uh, length uh, is uh, 24 so i'm going to substitute 24 over here so therefore we are ended up with this uh, equation x divided by 45 equal to x minus y 
divided by 24. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, 24 times uh, x uh, equals to 45 times uh, x uh, minus uh, 45 uh, times y. And now I'm going to move this uh, 24x uh, to the other side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move this 45y in the opposite direction. So therefore, we can write uh, 45 times y equal to 45x uh, minus uh, 24 times uh, x. Let's simplify furthermore. 45y equals uh, to 21x. And now we are going to divide 45 on both sides to isolate y. This is gone. So therefore uh, our y value turns out to be and we can see 21 divided by 45 reduces uh, to 7 divided by 15. So therefore uh, y is going to be equal to 7x uh, divided by 15. So thus our y value turns out to be 7x divided by 15. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EAB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our uh, Pythagorean theorem. A square uh, plus B square equal to C square. And in our case our hypotenuse is 45 whereas our two other legs are uh, X uh, and Y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, y square equals to 45 square. And now let's make an observation. We know y equals to 7x uh, divided by 15. So therefore we are going to substitute this y value over here. So therefore we got uh, x square plus uh, I'm going to substitute that y value as uh, 7x uh, divided by 15 whole square equals to 20, 25 on the right hand side. So therefore we can write this one as uh, x square plus 49 x square divided by 225 equals to 20, 25. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 225 to remove this fraction. So therefore we are ended up with 225 times x square plus 49 x square equals to when we multiply 225 times 2025. 4, 55, 6, 25. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. That is going to give us 274 x square equal to 4, 55, 6, 25. And now we are going to divide both sides by 274 to isolate i x square. So this is gone. So therefore our x square value turns out to be equal to 4, 55, 6, 25 all over 274. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD. We know this blue square area is x square and our x square value is uh, 455, 625 divided by 274. So therefore our blue square area turns out to be 455, 625 divided by 274 square units. So thus the blue square area turns out to be 455, 625 all over 274 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 1662.9 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye